there, guys, and welcome back to our Gravitine Tactics German campaign. Guys, we are playing as the Germans now, um, and, uh, well, we're always playing as the Germans in terms of our campaign, but we actually have a tank army, a lot of stugs in this tank army, and I can only hope that we can stop whatever the Russians are sending at us. But this is going to be the first time we have only armor on the field. That's all that's here. We've got no infantry units whatsoever. We might have one. Nope, nope, Potch is a tank unit. Um, so we are totally working with armor, my friends, and I can already see uh, some smoke popping over there. I'm not sure if you guys see that. So I'm actually going to move a few of these guys to the left. They're not dug in, so it won't make too much of a difference. And we're just going to go ahead and fast move to the left. It's not always the greatest idea, but in this case, I think fast moving is a good idea. These are actually martyrs. So I actually corrected. Well, not corrected. I actually thought they were martyrs initially, but I thought they might be elephants as well. Uh, but it was corrected by a user to say that these are just martyrs, martyr threes, I believe. Uh, and they're going to be moving towards the enemy. I'm not crazy about these tanks, and I'll tell you why. I love the martyr threes gun. It's beautiful. It takes out armor without a problem. The problem is this open back panel. What the fuck were they thinking? I mean, unless you're way, way behind your own lines firing, where it's kind of okay. You know, this is just asking for somebody to come along with a grenade, a Molotov, or shit, just a pistol. Just kill and waste the crew and move along. So I'm always really worried when I send these martyrs out, but I'm hoping that they know what to do this time. I'm also tempted to send a Loberg and Dietrich this way, just in case. We might as well go ahead and try to find as many of the enemy as we can. So anyway, guys, I will return to you guys when we get into some combat. Oh, Fritz, I am so angry at Fritz's job. We did not have a choice. It's always our job to fight for the right. The Russian countryside. I can't see a damn thing. Shut up, the commander is right down in the driver's seat. Alright guys, enemy contact has commenced, and it looks like our martyr is the first to find some enemy troops. It looks like, look at this guys, we've already destroyed um, an incredible amount of enemy vehicles here, or at the very least they have been uh, abandoned, essentially, which is beautiful for us. And there we go, Berger, the first to find the enemy. The martyr I don't see as specifically an anti-tank, um, or excuse me, an anti-infantry tank by any means, but right now we, first to arrive on the battlefield, we're going to use him. Come on, Berger. Move forward! An Osman has a very nice spot right here. He can spot them from the top of the hill. I'm going to keep Osman where he is. Actually, I really like Osman's position here, so let me stop and just hope that he's got the common sense to open fire on all these bastards. Um, and actually, we definitely got a nice shot here. Osman! Stay put, Osman, this way. There we go. He's turning. Oh, he's, he's learning, guys. He's learning. Give him time. Give him time. He's new. He's new. Not a bad thing. Okay. Alright, no, he's not learning very well. Um, please don't tell me you're not. Please don't tell me you're stuck. That's more like it. Nice. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. That's beautiful. So now I'm just going to get lost in here and he can basically open it to the enemy back. I'm going to watch him um, and just see what he's up against. There's some fire around him, uh, but I'm hoping this doesn't affect him. But he's firing off fun. Who could it be? It's a hero what's a rifle. No, look at all of these jumps. These Russian soldiers. Sorry, oh shit, don't shoot me. I'm not fighting for them, I swear. I'm not a spy. Look at this, guys. Oh my goodness, so many Russians on the way. Uh, we are hitting them with heavy fire. We're using everything. We're using turret. It's incredible. The lengths we're going to stop these guys. I'm actually going to go ahead and grab some more tanks. Binder and Oymeyer. And I'm going to send them fast up this way. We also are taking these enemy contacts out here as well. So they're just launching a massive infantry assault. Um, and I think also is going to take it out pretty soon here. It's, there's no way to get this up and not get killed. Side. The enemy gets behind the spin. I'm going to you guys about the problem with the martyr. And it's going to be very obvious here. Yes! Oh, that was a nice shot. Right on the river's edge. I've got to say, this is a really nice area to be underneath the attack from. I kind of expect them to, because it's low ground. It's also a river area with a lot of moisture. It's a very nice area to hide from us. And as you can see, Osman is going to go down, because they're firing at him from behind. Look at this. Look at how they're swarming him, guys. Look at that Russian assault. Um, that is amazing. 
also mine, of course, is down, guys. It was only a matter of time there. Uh, the Molotov probably finally got him, but yeah, there's no way he can survive that. We gotta rely on Poch Vega to make a difference here, as well as the incoming tanks. Enemy contact, where's this enemy contact at? Alright, more infantry, that's fine. I don't mind infantry contacts. We can deal with them. Come on, Omaya, Binda. This year, actually, one of you guys is a stug. I don't know how useful he's gonna be. Right, I'm gonna call in an attack right here. Oh, the enemy is almost entirely in this area. I'm not familiar with this. This does not look like the useful. Maybe they're gonna drop something else. Maybe, maybe we get some planes. I don't know. We'll have to see. Um, yeah, this guy will drop some attacks right here. Overall, we're just trying to hurt the enemy as much as we can. Must give it to them. They've done an exceptional job at this charge here. Not losing nearly as many metal as we would have charging the infantry units versus the turning tank units of infantry units. And I'm actually going to have Bach this way. Burger can keep his spot. Come on, Binder. We have some better engines than this. Oh, what? See how stuck performs against infantry. I mean, it should perform just fine, you know. Sort of light targets. And again, this, this tank is not made for an anti infantry con contact. It's really made for, um, for fighting other tanks. In fact, this is an assault gun. The tank lovers are going to hate me here. This is technically not a tank, it's actually an assault gun. Uh, but I like to call it a tank, what can I say? I think Poch is getting some good shot. Good shot, Poch. And right there, we just took out a nice little group of Russians. It's good to see that these martyrs are still useful against them. They're very useful as a matter of fact. Um, especially at long range. They're, they're dropping things out. They basically look like mortar shots. Or not like mortar shots, like artillery shots, rather. Um, they look very, very deadly. And uh, they kill a lot of guys. So here we go, guys. Moving forward. And there we go. Some already coming in. That is definitely artillery. I'm going to move Binder up a little bit more. That's probably what we just called in. Well, I might want to switch it over here eventually. This reminds me of the attorney or a law firm called Binder and Pinder, and yes, it exists. I've seen the commercial on television a million times, so I've now memorized it. Um, here we go. We lost him. That's not good. Burgers lost? That doesn't make sense. He's still moving. How can he be lost? That looks fine. They're gonna reman the vehicle, don't worry. This is this happens, they will recruit the vehicle. There's no way we're just gonna leave it. There's absolutely no way. They are conscious of getting the threat the shots here. We're gonna drop some more ordnance in this area. This time we'll turn Potch back. Essentially some guy. This is a guy we don't want to lose. We don't want to lose the commander. All that. Nice. Oh, just laying waste. And then once we actually start going down the hill, it's going to go higher. So we actually start heading downwards, we're going to get some much more shots. Now, Binder's already got a nice view here. I like his view, but I'd, I'd like to improve it. And uh, right now, we've got a lot of Russians over here by the swamp. Trying to move in. Let's spot them. There's one of them eyes on the military in this area. Posh, we'll turn him this way. Come on, Posh, we've got a lot of enemies coming at you, man. There we go, they come talking about the men from a Russian perspective trying to leave this swamp area. And we've essentially got them surrounded on two sides. We need to make use of this. So I'm going to take Lillmeyer, go ahead, and charge right in. Same with Binder. Sadly, Commander killed. I'm almost certain that that's going to be Posh. Let's take a look here. Oh, that might be an enemy commander? Is that possible? No, it's probably Burger. Sadly, it is Burger, guys. The enemy broke through, and yes. Oh, we got them, but sadly, they killed this crew uh, pretty effectively. Let's hope they don't do the same watch. Here we go, Goldmire. We spotted some enemies there across the river. That's useful, but I want him to kill the enemies close to us. Let's see how many other tanks we have back here as reinforcements. Now, we could take these guys and bring them forward, too. And I, I say, why not, right? So, let's do that. Um, I'm actually going to order them to just attack this area over here. And that way, they'll all at least be moving in the same general direction. Watch. 
Save yourself. <laughs> like I said, if we can keep these guys away from the back of our vehicle, we won't necessarily be killed by them. Holy shit! Going to fire now. Going, Poch, keep going. Don't stop. Ooh! I think we just saw the roof Poch get taken out almost certainly. Maybe not. They're still able to fight. They're definitely uh, trying to escape at this point. I'm actually going to try to go back across the river. Vinder has gotten a bunch of kills over here. We can actually see a bunch of dead Russians. Um, and a lot of you guys are saying, like, oh, I can't see what you're referring to before you zoom in. Uh, you can actually see the dead by just zooming out and looking at the little gray dots that represent enemy dead. Um, and, of course, our dead are not represented by anything unless you click this button right here, and then you can see our dead as well. Um, but we're not really trying to look at that. So, but I think we've done pretty well so far. Losing two tanks, but is it is it worth losing two tanks to take out this many infantry units? I'll let you guys know. There we go. More infantry down. We will not be returning to the flight. Remember, Ivan has plenty more men than we do. I mean, the, the difference in men, the, the difference in manpower is, is astonishing. So, we have to get a lot more kills than the enemy does to justify losing a tank. That makes any sense to you Go. Nice shot right there on the river bank. It's a river of death. Oh, got a great shot here. These guys are trapped right now in between both of our forces, and uh, that's an awesome feeling for us at least, knowing that the enemy is trapped. That is cool. There's some water effects in the game. I think that's very awesome. So we just saw a shell hit the water. Sort of a little ripple effect there. I like that. Oh, look at all the blood. Let's keep moving. But don't think that Ivan can save these men no matter how many medics they bring. Let's see how the rest of our tank force is moving up. Alright, not bad. Um, at a steady pace, obviously. Um, I could ask them to move fast, but I can see them. I might actually have low back now. Oh, I mean, 
<laughs> when you think about it. <laughs> you, most most humans couldn't actually jog after it. Um, you would you wouldn't be able to outrun it, but pretty close. It's uh, not a very fast vehicle. Not a very fast speed. There we go. The enemy's asking for a ceasefire. I'm surprised they didn't have before, but I guess they got they got the impression that they might be able to escape from this area, um, this awful situation, and uh, cross the river. But thankfully, Potch stopped that from ever being a possibility. Okay, we still got a lot of enemies. Look at that. Yes, Binder's trying to hit them. We've got a lot of enemies over here on the left side, and I don't want to let them go. There's no way we can allow these guys to escape. Foya! I haven't made a big mistake crossing this river. Go. That's what I'm waiting for. You can just see the giant shell in our tank. Probably trying to just hide their tracks and get the hell out of here. Hold my up. The only danger is having the martyr turn too far away from the enemy that they can shoot at you. Maya, hold my up. Ooh, that almost looked like, by the way, on our right side, was an artillery strike. That might have been. Remember, the AI in this game can, can sometimes um, decide to go ahead and take over. That almost certainly looks. In fact, that almost is. That definitely is. That is incendiary artillery, guys. Look at that. Definitely. Oh, joy. Yes, that's incendiary artillery. We've still got some more enemies moving up here on top of the hill. We've also got an enemy commander over here, and I'd like to take him out. Let's see what Potch can do. Actually, Potch is almost out of ammo, so I'm going to get this guy the hell out of here. Binder is still very close to the enemy. Nice! Very nice hit there. That's a tank shot, almost certainly. But I'm trying to kill the enemy commander here. The, uh, Commissars, of course. The political commanders. Your Stug is doing. No wonder you're not firing, you can't see a damn thing. As soon as that smoke clears, you can see shots. Hold on, Gustav. Now, Ivan, this will be the body bag, yeah? Let's go ahead and take Oldmeyer, Weber. Ooh. He's a massive break this morning. Switch the car over there. Switch. Take a while longer to set up. Out. 
definitely out of his tank. Yep. So sadly, we lost three tanks, two crews. That certifies that I cannot end this battle with a ceasefire, at least not yet. We gotta keep those enemies. John has got some nice views on the other side there. The enemies are. There's a giant while, um, like, a, you know, actually, I should make a separate tutorial for this, but the way it works is that before a battle, there are three designated points for where artillery is supposed to fall. And once you change those points, uh, the actual setting up time of artillery takes a bit longer, because you guys have to readjust their fire, and, uh, you know, it takes a lot of calculations. Um, also, if you don't have a radio man, or you have a line, a wire line running, that means you actually have to set a soldier to run to the artillery and tell them to fire. As you guys can imagine, that can take a very long time. Uh, right now, it looks like our tanks have done the work of our artillery this battle, but of course losing guys like Osman, and particularly commanders like Poch, is not a good thing. On the same time, you know, we, we cut them off on both sides of the river, and they sort of broke out of the encirclement after losing a lot of men, so I'm not sure if it was a victory or a Come on, get up. Not executed, that's not a good sign. Possible that Binder, yes, no commander. There we go. Right, well, Binder's tank's fine, it can certainly be used, but the lack of a commander is troubling to say the least. Go ahead, Commissar. Now we've got all of our tanks up here. Just a line of armor. I thought he was going to hit our guy, but it actually took out three Russians that were there. Not bad, not bad at all. Going right. way too fast, and I think he's going at average speed, so he must be flying down this hill. We are going downhill, so I'm only assuming that he may be sliding. I've seen tanks slide in this game a lot, and I think it's really cool. There we go, Elta. Oh, we almost got the Commissar. Did we get him? The men can have peace when the Commissar is dead. How about that? Actually, Elter is getting really close to being able to launch that assault, um, so I might just wait for that to come in. See if I can get a few more kills on the enemy. Then again, I don't want to lose another major. There we go, that commissar has got to be dead. If not, he's Superman. He just got hit on both sides by a major. Um, definitely dropped his rifle. And a major tank attack. Enemy contact. More enemy contact over here by this tiny Daka. Dasha? There we go. The comics are still alive, incredibly. I do it, I don't even really focus because I just wait until the end of the actual 
actual campaign to discover, whether it's a victory or defeat. And as you can see, a total defeat here, but the forces before the battle, uh, we actually kept most of them. We only lost 13 men, we killed 103 men. Um, and territory, we kept 97% of the territory. So this can be a bit of a problem, but uh, three to one as well. Won a battle with three to one kill ratio. Now here's the interesting thing. Won a battle, total defeat. Won a battle, total defeat. This is weird. See, there's an issue here. Um, and in fact, I might even make a separate video for this. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much, and have an awesome, awesome day.